Hello everyone and welcome to my desk setup. I, I have been promising this video now for a little while but now I've got most of my desk up and running and I've got most of the stuff I want in place I thought now would be the perfect time to show you what I've done. So bear with me we're probably going to be a bit of a, a stop and starty video because this tripod just isn't working uh, so we have here this is my planner you guys have seen this planner not long done this video um, so I haven't written in it yet but yes this is where my planner lives near the edge of my desk so it's kept out of the way for when I work but it is close enough for me to see what I'm doing you guys, if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen this lovely felt clipboard that I own. Currently says follow us at Decorators, which you can find me on all platforms there. But I've got plenty of letters, so I'm hoping to change that up a little bit and put some really cool quotes on there. So, moving on to my actual desk, if I can bring this around a little bit. I always have a candle or a votive on when I am working so this one is a Yankee candle one or oh, what was it called it was something woody it was really really nice I've already as you can see I've already used half of it but I also have a tea light holder up here so I never have the two going at the same time but I always put the one that I'm using currently here and I just swap them around whenever I'm using it. Behind my sign we have my washi tape dispensers, We've got one, two and three. This one, I don't want to say broke but it, it did kind of fell up, uh, yeah, it fell apart when we were moving stuff around so I need to find the bit that actually holds the washi tape together. Once I find that I can put washi tape back in it and use it again. If not, it's going to have to get chucked. So I'm going to have to buy a new one. But next to that, I have a cactus, which was a present from my sister. It's actually my sister's cactus, but she couldn't take it to university with her. So I'm on babysitter baby duty, really. Behind my candle, I've got just some lip balm. I've got a ring that my mum passed down to me. I've got a nasal stick um, because you just you never know when you might need it. I also have a whiteboard marker as I have a whiteboard over there. Oh, thank you for that, Charmander. Right, so moving on a bit, we have my second shelf. This shelf is just a sentimental, ornamental thing. It's pretty much all I can say. Um, I love cuddly toys. I do collect them. As you may see in the background, I do love the little Tsum Tsum toys. So I've got a bunch of those. Um, and I've got some little... Oh, that's my hair. Thank you for that. I've got some little collectible ones there and that's pretty much just just to keep me going if I look up and I'm yeah I've got all the things that mean a little bit to me and I've got that there okay so moving on up we then have my third shelf again partially ornamental but partially functional I've got some ornamental things like here like a candle and a fairy statue but I also have my stress ball here um my whole life pretty much revolves around laptops and typing. I've got my day job as a virtual assistant, plus I also have a couple more businesses, including decorators. And I pretty much just live on the laptop. Because of this, I have repetitive strain injury, also known as RSI. And I have found that using a stress ball or as well as the mouse that my mum bought for me last Christmas, which is actually upright like this rather than in a claw gesture which we'd normally do 
they've pretty much worked hand in hand to help me get better. Behind my stress ball I also have my boxes of bulldog clips and paper clips. I also have my, if I can turn this around, there we go. I also have my tarot cards here um, underneath the rose corsage, I think the word is, and that my husband wore in his blazer for our wedding day. Moving on up, we then have my top shelf, which goes all across here. I've got some, just some spare A4 paper. I have, currently I've got some gaps because my A5 planner usually goes here, my Kiki K. Well, I've got my Erin Condren from last year. My happy planner for next year is actually, it was meant to be an 18 month um, and it was my mum's. But as much as she loved the happy planner, as much as she loved decorating it, she didn't really have the time to make it look like it was, um, make it look decorative the way that mine does. So she wanted to give it to someone who she knew <laughs> would give it time, so she gave it to me. As I said, my A5 planner is meant to go there, but it is currently behind me, so... Here it is, A5 planner. That usually lives. There we go, back home. A5 planner goes there. My traveller's notebook with my two bullet journals live there. Got my unicorn journal. This is just a plain notebook inside, but as you can see, it is a very, very beautiful notebook. Um, this was handmade for me many years ago and my mum said that when I found a purpose for it I know exactly what I wanted to use it for. I didn't want to use this as just like a normal, you know, notebook for generic to-dos and stuff. I wanted it to be special and I do think that I have found what I want to use it for and it will last me for life so I'm really looking forward to that then got my paper chase personal planner i've got my santoro gorgeous planner i've got one of my sticker books up here this is my functional sticker book i also have another sticker book which lives here and that is for my kits but i've currently moved that as i was just filming a plan with me before i filmed this Moving on over, I have this Snow White Poisoned Apple fake plant, which my husband bought for me. Really like it. Behind that, I have a road opener aura spray from the Village Witch. If you didn't know, the Village Witch is my family business, the one that I always talk about. Um, this is the one that has all the sub boxes for. I love having this on my desk because sometimes, especially in the jobs that I do, you can have you know creative blocks and stuff so I love having this just to open open the creative pathways I guess you could say and it smells divine I also have my silhouette portrait it isn't currently plugged in um as you may have known I've only just moved into this room so I'm still trying to work out where everything can plug in because we do not have as many plug sockets in this room as we did before but look out for this one i have plans for you silhouette plans don't get too lazy anyway so moving on down okay moving on down we do have my actual main desk area so i have here if i can bring my camera down there we go I've got my pen pot. Now the thing I love the most about this pen pot is the fact that if you turn it on its side, it looks like an elephant. <laughs> and I just, I love it because I'm fascinated by cute little things like that. This has a bunch of just some of my favorite writing pens in. So we've got one from Muji. We've got a Tombow Food and Risco. We've got Kiki K pens in there. So yeah plenty of things to keep me going plus I love this cute little pippy from the plump planner so I've literally just blue tacked this on to the front 
The best thing about it is when I'm not filming, my phone sits here. So I can use it for notifications for work or watching YouTube videos or anything like that. Moving on, we then have my main desk set up. Oh, I forgot to mention as well, I also have a Doctor Who coaster um, because I do not want to stain this beautiful desk. So here we go, we are now back to, as you can see my tea light is over there. I've got plans for this box. Um, it's currently still sealed but I want to make it look pretty, I want it to make it be functional. I do work on a Mac, um, as you can see here is our website and behind it I have a white board of which I'm going to turn into a vision board as soon as I possibly can just because I want it to look really really nice. So that is it for my for my desk tour I think. Let's pop this back where it's supposed to live. There we go. And we are done. I really hope that you like this desk setup and if you are considering I'm having a bit of reorganise a reorganisation I hope it's given you some ideas. Um although I have actually forgotten to show you my drawers. Let's Let's stop. Let's stop that. Let's go find the drawers. Okay, apologies for this next bit. It might be a little bit shaky because I'm having to do this bit handheld, and um, my tripod doesn't like bending this far. So this drawer simply pulls out from underneath my main area of the desk. This is my washi tape collection. I have, I do have, quite. A substantial amount of washi tape. Some may be proud, some may be a bit probably scared. Um, I do have two pencil cases to the side of me plus just some important information about my feet and the doctors that I go to for that. Um, more washi tape. I've got this. Oh, this thing is a lifesaver. This is a sticky tape roller. I love it got my A5 hole punch there. If I move these out of the way, you'll also see a lot of uh, sheets of paper here. These are all the leftover stickers from kits from planning these that I've done. If I've not used up a sticker, then you can go there. So for example, this is from the plan with me I've literally just filmed. I haven't used a bunch of the icons, so I want to save them for future plan with me's. So that's going to go in there until I sort them out. Moving on over to my next drawer, which is just underneath my planner. This is my main stationery drawer. So we've got a stationery kit here. And underneath it, I just have a bunch of pens that I love to use. So I've got sticky notes here, some sticky notes here, I've got some more pens got quite a few coloured pens in this one. So this is this has got my mild uh, milk liners in, some Stedler pigment liners, we've got Stedler broad liners, we've got the Tri Plus balls, got a lot of coloured pens. I then got some useful things like memory memory sticks. My all my headphones live in this drawer as well just because they're super easy to grab hold of. I have my headphones with the normal 3.5mm jack for my Mac. Then I usually have my phone headphones in here as well but that's got a different ends. So I have to have two pairs. I've got my die cuts which I am um, I need to put in my planners plus some ink and all my normal writing pencils are in there. I've also got this beautiful fountain pen which I love to keep in its case because it's made out of glass but there we go that's what it looks like it is it's stunning there we go so that also lives in there 
moving on down you can see here I've got some boxes underneath that's just for the rest of my household stuff I've got in this top drawer I've got my gold pencil case from Go Stationery I love this pencil case it's, it's a TARDIS this thing it carries way more than you think it would this currently has my Crayola super tips in there and plus I've got notebooks and my paper packs from Powerland in there below I've got like a crafty drawer so I've got stuff to make my own paper clip bookmark things in these two boxes plus I've got a tab maker and the happy planner full box maker hole punch thing in there this tin here is just for normal womenly feminine care products because you never know when you may need them sorry about that and in the bottom drawer I've just got lots of big things so the happy planner hole punches in this one and I've got two quite chunky pencil cases which don't fit in the other two shelves okay now we can finish off that is I think I that is definitely all of my desk i have not forgotten anything this time so if you like this video don't forget to like and comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to click that bell but until next time bye guys